subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Today we are going to look at the handling of laboratory materials and apparatus. First, we look into the laboratory apparatus and its function. These are the common apparatus that we are going to use in the lab. Boiling tube. The function is to heat the small amounts of chemicals. Test tubes. To hold the small amount of chemicals. Beaker to hold large amounts of chemicals. Conical flask to hold larger amounts of chemicals as well. Flat bottom flask to hold larger amounts of chemicals. Measuring cylinder to measure the volume of liquid. Burette to measure volume of liquid accurately. Pipette to measure the fixed volume of liquid. Tripod stand to support apparatus during heating. Wire gauze to separate the heat evenly during the heating. Filter funnel to filter or separate the insoluble solids from mixtures. Gas jar to contain gas. Evaporating dish to evaporate the excess solvent. Red top stand with clamp to hold or support apparatus. Crucible with lead to melt the material such as metal. Crucible tongs to grip and lift objects, especially the hot objects. Bunsen burner to heat. Dropper to transfer small amount of liquid. Glass rod to mix chemicals. Thermometer to measure temperature. Connecting wire with crocata clip to allow the electric current to flow. Next, we are going to look at some videos of handling of laboratory materials and apparatus. The handling of laboratory materials and apparatus. How to open a reagent bottle. Method 1. Hold the cap and the bottle with same hand. Method 2. Put the cap on the table. Inside surface up. How to transfer a solid with spatula? Use the bend and of spatula to pick up small amount of solid. Then put it inside the test tube. Hold the tap tube upright. Avoid the solid to touch the side of the test tube. 
How to light a Bunsen burner? Close the air hole. Use the spark lighter to light the flame. Adjust till you see a blue flame. How to heat crucible and evaporating dish? Put clear triangle on the tripod stand. This is for direct heating. Put the evaporating dish using the crucible tongs. Put the crucible and the lid using the crucible tongs. Put the wire gauze on the tripod stand. Put the beaker. This is for indirect heating. How to transfer a solution? Squeeze the bulb of the dropper before putting it into the solution. Release the pressure on the bulb to draw the solution. Let the tip of the dropper to touch the neck of the bottle. This is to avoid dropping of the solution during transfer. How to heat a solution? Fasten a test tube holder to the test tube. Place the bottom of the test tube over the Benson burner. Do not face the opening to anyone, including yourself. How to mix solutions? There are few methods to do this. Method 1 Slightly shake the test tubes. Method 2. Use the fingers to tap the test tubes.
method 3, stop at the test tubes and shake up and down. Method 4. Stop the test tube and shake upside down. How to fix a boiling tube on a red hot stand? Step 1. Adjust the boss head and the position of the clamp. Step 2. Adjust the position of the clamp. Step 3. Fix a boiling tube on the clamp. How to for a future pepper? Simple con. First, force the round piece of future pepper in half and creases it. It is folded again and creased to produce a quarter circle. The conical shaped piece of filter paper is placed into a filter funnel. How to indicate thermometer is functional? First, hold the mercury bulb with fingers. Make sure that column of the mercury shows an increment. How to clean test tubes? Use a test tube brush to clean it. You can use a little detergent if needed. Put it upside down to dry. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.